Hey friends, here's another game footage I want to show you. This time uh, I will comment uh, during the video because um, not only this is entertaining, but I want to um, show you what I'm doing so you can learn. Uh, you can learn what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. So there's always a reason of, of my tactic and and why I do this and hopefully you can learn a thing or two viewing this video so this is uh, a piece of land that is under contest they're burning our village and we're gonna stop it as you can see we plan a counter-attack if you want to save a village and all your members drop one by one you will get uh, you will end up getting burned one by one and you will achieve anything. So the proper way to do this is to organize. As you can see, it's it's infested with enemies. So we need to plan this accordingly. So we're getting prepared. We play some tags and on this spot, we rather have no one farming. So the area is not blocked uh, in order to deploy our base so there are quite a few enemies there so i'm just waiting for the the moment i will change the tag i can't i can type as usual okay so I'm going to place, I'm going to drop on that corner to prevent uh, enemy from, enemies from surrounding me. So I'm the first one to land. Hopefully all my teammates will <laughs> help me. So I use the artillery to attack from a distance. I get another artillery piece just in case the enemy wakes up. I go back to safety. So now the enemy wants to swarm me. Somebody put a tag to help. So you, you see where I put my uh, my howitzer? Always behind my base. I use my base as a shield. For the enemy, my base is an obstacle. For me, it's a, it's a shortcut. So as soon as I'm getting engaged, I garrison my howitzer. I use my tank as a shield. So I garrison back. The goal here is not to destroy entirely the enemy, it's just to grind them, to wear them out. So once again, I pull out the artillery, garrison back to prevent any losses. I use mostly my medium tank and my heavy tank. The heavy tank, it's good for closer range because it's slower, it can take up some damage. So I'm getting busy, you see my artillery in the back, my heavy tank shielding my artillery. I'm, in this situation, you need to be really quick, in and out, in and out all the time. It's a lot of work, but that's, that's what you have to do to make sure that you don't lose reserves for nothing. So my teammate is helping me. This guy right there, you can barely see him. He's really strong, he's gonna help me quite a lot so in and out in and out as soon as you engage I garrison back I use my medium and then pull out my artillery right behind my tank he's gonna run away I keep pounding and in this situation you want to make sure that you're not losing tracks on your units
So here we're gonna clear out the enemies, clear out the zone, so we can keep landing. We're gonna clear out bunkers. I'm gonna help him with my medium. And the bombers. Don't forget about the bombers. When there's so much action, um, the enemy won't think about um, changing their light tank into anti-aircraft mode. So you, you use that opportunity to uh, bomb them. So now the enemy, there's less enemy. We're dropping, we're arriving in, in, in maces. So as an R4, like myself, I try to look around. What's going on? Are we making progress? How many enemies coming? So you want to have a good situation awareness. So, so this guy right there, he could be better positioned. I, I would rather land near my teammates so you can benefit from the support rather than landing far away. It's just a trick, it's not big of a deal but you if you want to benefit from help you may as well land near your friend so I'm just mowing those tanks boom 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 a super heavy comes he may think it's a bad idea So this guy right there is doing a mistake. You never want to bring artillery up front. Never, ever, ever. Artillery needs to be backed up with tanks all the time. So he will end up being completely wiped because he brings artillery in the front line. You don't want to do that. So I'm taking a lot of fire. I'm going to retreat. Another guy comes. So at this point, I will bring my howitzer. So the action is more on the right side. I want to bring my base where the action is, but there's no place where I can land. So I'm going to have to travel. Ideally, you want to bring your base near the action so you don't have to travel um, long distance and uh, risking getting ambushed or uh, hunters will uh, pick up your reinforcement. So this guy is he's getting closer to the action, which is a good thing because he's really strong. So there's a lot of super heavies. best way to counter super heavies is with howitzer i uh, believe it or not um, that's that's the best tool because uh, super heavies are really slow and by the time they reach your howitzer they will get destroyed so and before they bring artillery as well so i'm, I'm gonna bring my howitzer and we are ready to take them apart you'll see no one will come near us. We'll, we'll break our defense. So now we're getting ready. The, the pack is coming. And in this situation, you want to make sure you have tank up front. Your artillery. You don't want to bring your artillery 
at the front line. So I use the, the, range, ad, uh, the range advantage. So I'm going to open fire. As soon as they get closer, I'm getting ready to retreat. I just, you want to make sure that you keep a good distance. You see how fast he died? Just like that. And this is funny because this the super heavy, he's taking a pounding, but nothing is affecting him. So now let's unleash the fury. Boom! He's gone. I, I keep my distance. I, there's a lot of enemy up north. You don't want to be too close. So I go back. I re-engage from a safe distance. There you go. Almost done. Last one. It's, it's over. So I usually pick up the closest enemy because I don't want my artillery to run away from me. I want to keep it stationary or eat or I retreat. That's it. So I change, I reacquire re this tank. Whoop, I'm getting close to this heavy, I didn't see it. So I'm getting engaged by the time I realize that. Oh, thankfully my friend can help me. So I didn't lose too much. I only lost two reserves. Now for a reason there's some kind of visual bug because my artillery is is not facing uh, the direction it's firing at, but it doesn't matter. So there's a this guy. You want to take him down, really easy. Boom. That's it. So right now we're doing a great job killing them from the distance avoiding any damage these guys are taking some hits but i mean it's part of the game right this guy as well the boom so the game lagged there because uh i kind of lost control thankfully i didn't lose any troops so re-engage. Boom. So now we clear pretty much everyone. We're going to tag this guy. We're going to kill him. It's really important to have an officer on duty when you're in this kind of situation because uh, even though all our players have a lot of experience they need to be guided so this guy wants to have a go I don't think so boom so like I said you, you, you want to have an officer on duty so he can tag target so he in order so you burn efficiently and you, you, you don't go too far um, in the front. You, you don't want to get overexposed. So you, you want to go step by step. So naturally, this guy is the second in line. 
put a tag, everyone is going to go there. So as you can see, the enemy is, there's a large gathering coming in our way. They may not see him, I do. So I put a tag and I can type. So you see, we use this base as cover. And I make sure that no one try to sneak on us. So I go slowly, step by step, eliminating enemies. So I want to take a look around, make sure everything is under control, which is so far it's in, it's a it's the case. So at this moment, I want to bring my base where the enemy is coming. So this is a good spot. If I can fit, can I? Yes. But somebody else uh, stole my idea. <laughs> so no big deal. I'm going to relocate. I'm going to find a new spot. And uh, when you're on the border of the enemy, you want to bring your strongest guys at the border so they can contain the attack or counter the attack. If you put a small guy or a weaker base, he may not be able to do a good job. And if you get burned, you may not have anyone available to fill that spot in time. So the strong guys always go up front. So yeah, this guy is a uh, 146 million power. He's getting attacked, but I don't think they have enough muscle to take him down. So I'm gonna, so I'm gonna help him. Anyways, ooh, yeah, I did a mistake there. So 
so I am under a bit of pressure, but no big deal. I can take care of them. I go double Howitzer. So by the time they, they attack my weaker one, <laughs> my strongest one, just dispose of them. Just like that. So we have a few howitzer ready. This is the good this is a good timing to erase this base. So let's take the opportunity. I open fire with my heavies. And this base will melt. So, you see this gathering, they are, they, they, I'm sure they're planning to take him out, which makes sense. I will put a tag to, if we can save him. Uh, the problem is that this guy could be closer to us. By being that far, like I said, it's very hard. By the, by the time we go help him, um, it may be too late. So he, he could have picked a better spot to land, but that's okay. I mean. So there's a few super heavies. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, almost six howitzer. You see, I would have. Um, put my howitzer right there in the corner keep a safe distance he's he's out of range of the artillery and he's taking care of those super heavies but that's what I that's what I would do <clears throat> So despite being here, despite want to help him, it's, we were too late or we were too far away. So while I'm busy uh, south, I realize that up north, my friend is under a lot of pressure. So you see, I put my uh, howitzer whoops, in the corner, try to draw them away from him so we can pick them apart. I use the heavy to try to break break up the siege and my artillery right there. This guy doesn't see it. Oh, by the time he engaged mine, I garrison to safety, retrain troops. Oh, so his base is now activated. So this will change everything now. 
you don't want to be near that base when it's activated. And those guys activated my base as well, so double trouble. <laughs> Oops, I kind of misclicked, but that's okay. My base will take care of the rest. It's being activated, so. So yeah, we put the tag focus here because that's where all the enemies is coming. You see how much um they have quite a, a few units there. Again, put a tag. So what I'm doing here is I'm picking my targets, okay? I don't want to get surrounded by uh, the enemy, especially with the medium tank. It's not made for that, so I'm going to select targets. I'm going to always select the weakest target first. So medium eats uh, light and tank hunters. So these are my preferred targets. As thanks. Well, I make sure my howitzer will not be under attack. Tanks coming, so I better get some back. A heavy, a super heavy is coming in, but he's not going for me, so... Free kill, why not? That's it, just like that. It's always important to uh, make sure, uh, always have a take a look on your units. Make sure, always watch them. When you use one or two units on the battlefield, it's really easy. More than that, it's it's getting harder. Even the bombers, uh, they are f uh, kind of a fire and forget units, but you want to make sure that they are not um, flying into a trap. So I'm going to bring my howitzer here as a cover. I'm going to use his base as covering me while my medium tank is picking on weaker units. Ooh. If I could stay and engage that tank, but with a medium, you never know. It's fast enough to reach uh, my howitzer and destroy it or damage it badly. 
but this guy, I'm not sure if he knows how to play. Doesn't matter. So far, so good. So now there's too much tank, so I need to be careful. I garrison the one the farther away. The yes, further away, should I say? Now I use my heavy. The heavy heats medium. No idea why he's staying there, but that's okay. More kills for me. Okay, so this guy is under a lot of pressure. He, <laughs> he will not survive. So you have to be careful there. Artillery, I'm in range, so I have to watch it even though they are half dead they will damage me so i retreat play it safe howitzer will take care of the rest Once again, that trick, when I'm getting engaged, artillery fire back at the aggressor and they won't walk away from me, so. Make sure nobody is attacking me. Ah. <laughs> so once again I take a, an overlook of the battlefield it doesn't look that bad at this point Oh, so here's our next victim. So as you can see, the reason why I'm running uh, three howitzer, it's a good setup for busting bases and proper defense. I'm quite happy with this setup. I don't think I'm going to change it soon. It gets the job done. It, I'm, I'm really happy about it. And by the way, one word about our enemies. 
so far this this event is being awesome for us we're making a lot of kills the the arrivals are really nice with us of course there's some exchange exchange in words or taunting but it's part of the game but so far we've been respected and we're really nice with them i mean it's 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 a game after all i just want to shout out to uh, do a shout out to them we're having a lot of fun so now it's uh, it's kind of a downtime i'm gonna use i'm gonna scan around for enemies i can pick up Yes, you want to be careful, not go too far away from your base. The slowest your unit is, the closest you want to keep them to your base. You don't want to go in the open field. So I garrison back my medium tank because there's too many enemies around. this base okay so again I'm gonna try my best to help him it's hard to see but my artillery that was getting engaged I pulling back to safety Oof, he's under a lot of pressure yeah he, he's a strong guy but there's unfortunately there's too many enemies Oh, he activated my base by mistake. So by the time they engage my tank, base fire back, I make sure that I have a maximum amount of units in my base. So I fire back, I keep the pressure. Once again, you make sure that you have a maximum amount of, amount of troops. You don't want to have an empty base at this point. This is the main reason why you get burned 
cast, it's because your base is half empty. It's already half burned, more than that, so we want to make sure that you can fire back. Boom. Yep, the enemy will keep coming. I don't know why. Um, maybe they want to give me kills. <laughs> I, I don't want to make fun of them. I mean, it's it's not this is not the point. But when the base is activated, you don't want to send more units. You want to back back away, wait till it's it cools down, and then re-engage it, reset the siege. So now they understand. They keep their distance. But I'm gonna go for them. The boom! Officers kill. No more artillery. This anti tank gun as well. He's gonna pay the price. This heavy, super heavy tank, why not? So this guy, personally, I think he's way. Ah, oh, he's bombing my base, I don't know. He's, he's way too close to the enemy. This is a bold move. I mean, the... the I wouldn't do this. I mean... I'm, I prefer play it on the safe side. But as you can see, we're still doing a good job. We're repelling the enemy and, and chasing them down. <coughs> Sorry. As soon as I see maybe... Oh, no. That's the mistake. That's the price you pay when you go too far away from your base. I didn't expect anyone to go behind me, which is the case. And, and when this happened... Garrison back, you will lose some troops, but I use my tank as, as a shield. And, and my friend also got caught. So the best move would have to bring the, my base like this guy did. Ooh, yeah, he took a hit. Yep, there's a huge gathering uh, south side. So this is good. We bring base with us. We're getting. Uh, we go near the bo near the border. Yep, I'm gonna go for that medium, better target.
yep, trying to notify our friends. Ooh, yeah, unfortunately, he doesn't have a really strong base, so the enemy will take. Oh! Someone tried to run away. Yeah, he's gonna be the next victim. Two sleepy heads. Maybe I can take them both. Cover. Sometimes I, I don't know why you aim for the, you target that that unit and the artillery just doesn't respond well. Ooh. So my plan is to burn this base, the one who just dropped. I'm a bit far though. But I'm within range. Yeah, he's a, he's a small base, so I shouldn't have any problem uh, burning him. So now the enemy is interfering, so I... When you don't finish the job burning a base, you have to be careful. If he's smart... Okay, so he is. He's going to use his uh, base, because now he's activated. His base defense is activated, so he's going to use his base as a weapon. And you in, and that's, that will happen if you can't do the job in one in one shot. So better reset and, and restart. And hopefully your friend doesn't run into his base to get burned. So you see what I do, instead of running a, a, around the base with this unit, I garrison in and pop back out as a shortcut. Commander, our garrison will 
This shouldn't be too hard. Yeah. So I'm gonna avoid any damage. Bring the plane back on. So I hope so far you like the footage. I mean, it's packed with action. Uh, it makes it very interesting. And I hope that you, you guys are learning something with, uh, from this, um, what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. So with the plane, it's, it's easy. With that circle, you see which target you want to engage. You don't want to engage more than one target at once, unless your plane is really powerful. You want to go one by one. Okay, so this light tank will try to counter my planes. I'm going to counter him back with my medium. And you want to be careful the base doesn't fire back or damage too much your uh, your fighter plane so you go you pop uh, in and out as soon as your plane uh, uh, comes back to your base they are fully healed instantly so by grinding the enemy you pop uh, out and in constantly to avoid any damage but he's taking the damage, you're not. So when I say fight smart, this is an example. Take your time, there's no rush, grind him down, and you will avoid uh, any excessive damage. Why is it important? Like I said many times, you see how much reserve I have? 3,726. This is not a lot. I'm used to have a little bit more and you don't want to burn them because you never know if the enemy has uh, have to counter or plan another attack. If you're out of reserves, you're out of the game. And if you're a really powerful player that makes a difference, you want to keep those reserves for maybe a crucial moment. There you go, I, I go out and come back in. So he's gonna seize the moment because this base is empty. He made the mistake of leaving his base empty. He's gonna try. Um, unfortunately, uh, his base is really low on health, so it's gonna play against him. And this guy, he cannot base because he miscalculated you see this this little house that's blocking him Thank you. 
<laughs> I'm gonna win this. This countdown. And you saw, I don't stay there. I garrison back to avoid any damage. I could have finished him, but at the cost of losing too much reserve, that it's not worth it. So this sleepy head. As soon as my officer skill will re oh, okay, took care of him. I was ready to release the officer skill on that unit. Ah, now he wakes up. Now he wakes up. too much troop on that one. I was not careful. So now the enemy is gathering. They, I, I think they know what they want. Oh. He activate my base. Maybe not a good idea. They're not enough, I think, to burn me. Or maybe they are. Yeah, I was too slow to counter them properly. That's it. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't have the battle report. I wish I could show it to you. But that's... That's it, guys. Almost an hour of intense battle. Like I said, I hope you learned something from this footage. If not, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it, it was very entertaining. It was a fierce battle. On that time, we, we lost uh, that round. But uh, there will be more battle to show you. Uh, as, progress, I as we will make progress, I will upload more in-game footage. I hope you liked it. If you did, give me a thumbs up, guys. Uh, more to come. Until then, take care.